Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. This is Kitchen Week. And yes, I've got my apron on. I'm ready to do some cooking. Now, I got my spatula. I got my bowl. Got some ingredients. I need a recipe. Where am I gonna get a recipe? Ah, the Bible, you say? Sure, did you know? Here's your Bible trivia that will stump your friends and enemies alike. Did you know there actually is a recipe in the Bible? Only one, but there is one. Now, if you're expecting it to be something really tasty like some banana nut muffins, uh, I don't wanna disappoint you, but it's nothing so tasty or complicated. The recipe is found in Proverbs chapter 30, and it's in verse 33, but you really need to take verse 32 with it to understand the passage. It's a recipe for making butter. You say, well, that's not much of a recipe. Well, okay, well, the Bible wasn't written to be your cooking textbook, but it's still got something very instructive to say. And so as we conclude Kitchen Week, I will use it for my video thought for the day. The passage starts in verse 32. And in verse 32, it says, if you've been foolish, you've been exalting yourself, making yourself look so good and high and mighty and important. If you've been foolish, exalting yourself. Or if you've been devising evil, you've been figuring out and planning stuff to do that's not godly. The proverb says, put your hand on your mouth. That's the setup. Here's the recipe. Because pressing milk produces butter. It's your recipe. The proverb continues, pressing the nose produces blood. And pressing anger produces strife. So it gives a recipe, not only for something you might want to eat butter, but it gives a recipe for self-destruction, pressing the nose produces blood, and a recipe for discord around you, and, 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 and that is pressing anger to produce strife. But I love the way this is written, because it starts out with this idea of if you've been exalting yourself, which is evil, foolish, or if you've been devising some kind of evil, it says, just put your hand over your mouth. Stop it. In other words, use your energy and use your efforts to stop doing things that aren't good because we can use our energy and our effort to produce something good or we can use it to our own destruction or we can use it to the destruction of others. And that's where the recipe comes in. We can use our efforts and use our hands to do good. Pressing milk produces butter. Or we can use it to do ourselves harm because pressing our nose produces blood or pressing our anger produces strife. We cause problems around us. It's all a question of where you want to spend your energy. So as I'm thinking about this today, I'm thinking I want to cook up something that's, that's, that's positive, something that's good, something that's going to produce something that's sweet that I can use in, in, in all that I'm cooking. I, I don't want to spend my energy cooking something that's going to be destructive to me or destructive to others. Can you imagine how tough it would be to spend like an hour in the kitchen and make something that was just absolutely rancid that you don't enjoy eating and you don't enjoy feeding to others? Let's don't use our energy that way. Let's use our energy to do something and make something good. I can't close this without telling you this will really kill your cholesterol, but if you use something like this, uh, it uh, supports healthy cholesterol levels. Just a side note, though I don't know everybody's like, some people are natural about butter, I don't know. But I will tell you this, whatever you're cooking up, let it be for good. And that'll be good and beneficial to you 
and to everybody who gets to taste what you've done. It's your video thought for the day. Thanks for Kitchen Week. I'll see you next week. God bless you.